Hey, what's up everybody? Phil here. I did a scan of these railroad tracks and I wanted to talk about one of the issues that can come up during the process. Before we get started, how about hitting that subscribe button for me, clicking the bell icon too, it really helps me out, and you get to see more videos. So really, everybody wins here. Also, I want to thank Capturing Reality for giving me a temporary license of Reality Capture to make this video. So anyway, on with the show. I didn't film the picture taking process, but here's how I did it. I used my Mavic Mini to take all of the pictures so that I wouldn't disturb the rocks by walking on them. I started by aiming the camera straight down and flying in kind of a back and forth pattern, taking a ton of pictures along the way. Notice I didn't turn the drone at all. I did that to make sure that all the pictures are facing the same direction in order to save my sanity later. After shooting all of those, I tilted the camera to about 45 degrees and flew around the area in sort of a racetrack pattern. That finally gave me a total of 359 photos. Alright, so here we are in Reality Capture and I've loaded up all of my images. You can see here, when I get to the bottom, it says there are 359 images. And then I hit Align Images and waited for it to align. And it looks pretty good at first. But then there's a problem that you may not realize when you're just looking at it like this. So if you come up here and to the little drop down and change it to 1Ds, you'll see we actually have three different components here, components 0, 1, and 2. And if you click each of those, you'll see what they are. So that's component 0, 1, and 2. So you can see it's not getting all of the photos in one model. And so that's what we're going to look at now is how to merge them. So see component 0 only has two images in it. And you can see it says that here 2 registered. And component 2 has 59 out of 359. So not great. So they have a new way of doing this in the latest version of Reality Capture. And it is so much easier than the old way. Let's first take a look at how you used to have to do it in the old way. Okay, so let's first switch this to this view. So now we have three windows over here and the main 3D view. So let's switch both of these to 2D. So now we have a photo in each of them. And we're going to switch this to the Alignment tab. So let's open one of these components. Say, this one only has two, so I'm not even going to worry about that one. I'm just going to delete it. Because there's no way two images are going to make a big difference anyway. So now we have component one, component two. So we're going to open component one and open the camera poses. And there's all of our images and now we can just drag the images over to either of these windows and it really helps when you're going through these notice when you drag it it doesn't show which one you dragged so it really helps to click it first and then drag it it's just a good habit to get in that way every time you click one you can come back here and say okay that's the last one I dragged and <laughs> there's me <laughs> working the drone so what we're trying to do here is you want to look for some point that stands out and is easy to recognize in other photos. So like look at this board here that's kind of really dark and it has a single rock right in the middle. That would be a good spot. So you would want to come up here and hit control points and click on there and it'll create point zero. Now we're going to come to component 2 and open camera poses 
and you want to drag one in here and then you'll want to find that same point in one of these photos and conveniently I actually have it right here so yep, it's the same point of that rock so we're going to click point zero up here and then come down here and click the same spot there and now it is the same point in both images and if we come up here to control points you can see it there point zero with two images so now we're going to come open uh, camera poses for component two again and drag in a different image and here we go there's that same rock so we'll do the same thing click point zero and click it in there and then we'll do the same thing with another image okay there's that same rock again click and then click this one and now that I've got three you can see it can now automatically guess some others and so we're gonna assume those are correct and we can just click the little green plus box on each of them and that's all we need to do for point zero then you will want to do that several more times like three or four more times repeat that whole process with a different point in different images so that's where it gets tricky I actually got really lucky this time with that rock because sometimes it can be really hard to find a point that looks exactly you know, unique uh, that you can find it in multiple images especially with something like these train tracks that let's find a, another image here like this so if you're looking at this and you find a point like you know, some weird little rock up here and you're trying to find that rock in this image it can be really difficult so that's the old way the new way is way easier let's check that out so let me just collapse those and I'm just going to delete point zero because we're going to make new ones. So I can get rid of these two windows. Come back up here like that. That's good. And then we'll switch this one to 3D. Okay, and I'm making sure, let's see, component one has the most images in it. So I'll use that one. And so I'm going to come up and hit control points again and I'm gonna hit create and so that made our new point zero and I'm just gonna drag the mouse around in on the 3d uh, cl point cloud and you can see oops there we go no oh, I messed up okay <laughs> so anyway create and let's see control points there we go. I'm going to make sure that the control points button is turned on. And so we're just going to drag around and you can see these little white lines coming from my mouse there showing where all the cameras are that connect to that spot that I'm pointing at. So right now I can see it's pointing at quite a few. So I'm going to click there because I want it to connect to as many images as, as possible and we can see we get all those green boxes so we're just gonna approve all of those and this can be annoying it takes a little while I kinda wish you could just select them all and press approve but it won't let you do that maybe in a future update or maybe there is a way and I just haven't found it yet so anyway, that's point zero. So let's hit create again. Now we're at point one, and I'll pick somewhere else, somewhere maybe on the other side. And this looks good. Let's click there. And again, we'll just click all the green boxes. Oh, 
Okay. And so here's a problem. If you forget to hit that create button and you just go ahead and pick another one, then you're just going to get green boxes and new images in the same previous point, and you don't want that. So let's delete those with the little red delete button. And now we'll hit create. So now we have point two. And we'll pick something up here. Try to get one with a lot of lines. Yeah, that's a good one. So again, I'm going to click all the boxes. So you're going to maybe want to create like six or seven of these control points, which is a little bit annoying with clicking all these green boxes, but nowhere near as bad as the old way. So I'll just go ahead and create some more of these. and I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, so I made six of these and I tried to spread them out across the entire point cloud there. And hopefully that will be good enough. So let's come back up here and we'll hit align images again. And this will only take a minute or two. It should go faster than the first time. But I'll get back to you when it's done. Okay, there we go. It took just under three minutes. And so now, if we come down here, we can see again we have component one, but it has a one next to it. And we have component zero because there was no component zero before. So component zero has 351 out of 359 images. That's pretty darn good. It's basically almost all of them. Uh, component one, with the one in parentheses, only has two images. So eh, we can just delete that one. So now we have component zero here, which is basically all of them. And so that's the one we can use. And you can actually go up and delete the old ones. Do, do. There we go, and now we're only left with one component with almost all of the images. And so sometimes that may not be quite as easy. You might have to go through several iterations. So you'll get components one and two with parentheses one. And they may not be you know, perfect, but it might be one of them has more than it did before. So then you'll just repeat this process and add more of these control points and then align again. And eventually you'll get down to just having one component. So since I have this, let's uh, go ahead and finish up the model real quick. So I'll come to reconstruction and I'll set reconstruction region Oops, let's uh, set ground plane first. I'll rotate, turn it around, set ground plane, rotate, set ground plane, rotate, and then I'm going to bring it down. And let's look at it from the top, and set ground plane. <laughs> and try to rotate it, get it pretty straight. Now we'll set reconstruction region, region automatically. And let's drag these in further. And then we'll be ready to start processing our model. So just as you would normally do, I'm going to come up to the workflow tab and calculate model. And for the sake of this video, I'll just do the preview quality and it should go pretty quick. Uh, 
And there we go. That only took like 30 seconds. And let's take a closer look. So at preview quality, that's still even not too bad. Let's give it some quick textures. We'll colorize it. Maybe preview quality. And there we go. So, yeah, again, even at preview quality, that's, yeah, it's not so great when you're zoomed in, but from distance, that's not too bad. And it went really quick. Here, let's uh, turn off these residuals here and get a good look at it. And so, there you have it. That is basically how to combine components and use all of your images so you really take advantage and don't waste in that many of the images you shot. So if you liked this video again please you know subscribe, hit that like button and hit the bell button so you can get notifications on my upcoming videos. And leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer to the best of my ability. And I'll see you next time.